WSJE's intelligence reveal gun was scandal. 百分之十 of staff linked to Hamas in terrorist attacks. Introduction. Hello everyone and welcome to the Capture the Intelligence channel. Today we'll be discussing a bombshell report from the Wall Street Journal that has exposed the deep-seated corruption and infiltration within the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East. Anwar, on what's shocking reality? The Wall Street Journal, citing intelligence reports, has revealed that out of Anwar's. 一万两千 employees in Gaza, approximately 百分之十 or 一二零零 individuals are members of Hamas or other terrorist organizations. This shocking revelation implicates the an agency in the deadly October Timi massacre in Israel, where 九十七 Israelis were killed and 二十六万 air abducted. High salaries and abuse of funds. The investigation further uncovers that Hamas employees in Gaza enjoy lavish salaries. With many earning over 十二万七千六百九十五美元 annually, this is a staggering figure considering the immense humanitarian needs and poverty levels in the region. These inflated salaries raise serious concerns about the misuse and diversion of funds intended for aiding Palestinian refugees. Complicity in terrorist attacks. The report provides chilling details of UNRWA employees' direct involvement in the October 7 attacks. Nine specific cases are highlighted, including two individuals who were killed during the massacre, six whose mobile phone signals were traced to locations within Israel during the attacks, and three who received text messages instructing them to report to assembly points. With rockets, these revelations paint a clear picture of coordinated participation by UNRWA employees in the terrorist operation. Uns and Hamas's denial. In the face of this damning evidence, both the United Nations and Hamas have attempted to deny the allegations. However, the sheer volume of evidence, including phone records and intercepted communications, leaves little room for doubt. The Uns denial is particularly troubling as it raises questions about the organization's commitment to transparency and accountability, CCP's involvement and cover-up. China, a major contributor to Anwar's funding, has also joined in the effort to downplay the allegations and protect the agency. This is hardly surprising, given China's long history of supporting terrorist groups. And its consistent opposition to efforts to hold them accountable. China's involvement in this cover-up further underscores the deep-rooted corruption and political manipulation within the United Nations. The revelations about Anwar's complicity in terrorist activities demand immediate action from the United States and other major donors to the agency. Funding must be suspended until a thorough investigation is conducted and those responsible are held accountable. Additionally, reforms are urgently needed to prevent further infiltration and abuse within UNRWA and other UN agencies. Conclusion: The Wall Street Journal's expose on UNRWA is a wake-up call to the international community. It exposes a systematic failure within the United Nations, where funds intended for humanitarian relief are being diverted to support terrorism and political agendas. We must demand transparency, accountability, and a complete overhaul of an agencies to restore their integrity and ensure that they serve the people they are intended to help. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.